I want to make sure you know how to square a binomial. A binomial has two terms, and that, that's what you have here. So, um, let's practice. If you had A plus B squared, so you've got two terms, and they're being squared, so you've got the square of a binomial. The rule is take your first term, which is A, and square it. A times A is A squared. Copy down that sign. And then what you do, it's, it's, it's going to end up giving you three terms. The way you find your second term, you multiply A times B, and of course that gives you AB, and then you always multiply that product by 2. So that would give you 2AB. The last sign's always positive, and the way you find your last term is you square this last term here, and that would be b times b is b squared. Now let's practice again. Let's say you have x minus y squared. You still have two terms. The first term is x. The second term is negative y. You use the same rule. Square your first term. Copy down th that sign. Multiply x times y and then multiply it by 2, and that gives you 2xy. Last term is always positive. Square your last term. All right, so let's practice that with our problem. Our problem is square root 2 plus square root 5 squared. Now, there's a key word here, approximation. Whenever you see that, or you may see the word just closest, which is the closest to square root 2 plus square root 5 quantity squared. What that means is you can normally mess with your math. Not mess with your math. Mess with your numbers. Approximate a number that makes the problem easier. So let's see what I'm talking about. All right, use the same rule. Square, square root 2. Square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. Whenever you mul multiply the same two square roots, you get what is underneath the radical plus square root 2 times square root 5, well, that's square root 10. But you need to double it, so that's going to be 2 times square root 10. Plus, square your last term, square root 5, and that gives you 5. So 2 plus 5 is 7, plus 2. Now, 10 is, what do you wish that was? I wish that was a number that was a perfect square, and 10 is very close to 9. So let's change that to 9. 7 plus 2, <coughs> excuse me, square root 9 is 3. So that's 7 plus 6, which is 13. And that's one of your choices. So your answer is C.